Understanding Groom's Last Stand, a fun dive into wedding traditions. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the fascinating world of English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're diving into a rather humorous and slightly mysterious phrase, groom's last stand. This phrase is rich in cultural nuances and is often used in the context of weddings. So, grab a seat as we unravel the layers behind this intriguing expression, making it easy and fun for English learners to grasp. The phrase, groom's last stand, is a play on words, combining a traditional wedding role, the groom, with a phrase that usually denotes a final act of defiance or resistance, last stand. However, in the wedding context, it humorously refers to the bachelor party or a celebration the groom enjoys with his friends before getting married. It's seen as his last stand of freedom before entering into marriage. The phrase plays on the idea that marriage ends the groom's single life, so this celebration is his final moment to enjoy bachelorhood. While the term is used in jest, it reflects a deep-rooted cultural tradition in many Western societies. Bachelor parties, or stag nights as they're known in some countries, are a common way for the groom to celebrate his impending marriage with his closest friends. The term, groom's last stand, captures the essence of this event with a touch of humor, acknowledging the significant life change the groom is about to make. It's important for learners to understand that despite the playful nature of the phrase, it is always used in a light-hearted context and is part of the celebratory rituals surrounding weddings. There are several expressions and traditions related to weddings that also play on words and cultural practices. For example, the bridal shower is a gathering where the bride receives gifts for her new home, and the hen night is the female equivalent of the bachelor party. These terms and the traditions they represent vary widely across cultures but share the common theme of celebrating the transition from single to married life. Understanding these expressions provides insight into the customs and humor that enrich the English language and its descriptions of life events. We hope this exploration of Groom's Last Stand has not only expanded your vocabulary but also offered a glimpse into the cultural traditions that shape the English language. Phrases like these add color and depth to our conversations, reflecting the humorous and celebratory aspects of life's big moments. Keep learning and laughing, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the wonderful world of English in our next video. Cheers to language learning and the joy it brings!